Hi folks, today we're going to talk about Raspberry Pi 6 design options. A successful single board computer design in 2023 was Raspberry Pi 5. So what was the perfect balance between price performance, hardware price performance, software performance and user support? You want to have equally sided triangle. So that you can maximize the surface here. So the surface represents popularity. So if we go on to 2025, that we are now, then have we have other single board computer designs which are based on other systems on chip with smaller processing nodes. This means that they can pack much more hardware logic in the same sized chip. They can offer more hardware for the same price. Let's compare this to Raspberry Pi 5's uh, surface of popularity. So we can see that Raspberry Pi, though it may lack in hardware performance, it's still better at software performance and user support. So if we get to the future, in the year 2027, the competitive design would get competitive edge just by hardware price performance because they would be able to offer much more hardware for about the same price or about equal hardware for much lesser price. So uh, we can expect four uh, nanometer processing nodes in chip. So this means again 16 times more logic. So you don't want to, uh, the competitive uh, triangle surface grow much bigger than your uh, competitive triangle surface so in terms of popularity now let's see uh, the wish list so we have one very important request and this is surely going to be done uh, this is replacing Broadcom's 2712 system on chip okay it's got this small chip which can also be built in the next chip so this is boot air from uh, if you take for example RK3588 system on chip this is rock chip a system on chip which is very popular with Retza and Orange Pi designs. They actually have a combined version of eight cores and they have lesser cores. These are uh, ARM Cortex A55 uh, and they actually are, on my opinion, replacing this RP1 chip. And the other four cores are actually. Uh, the same as here so you get a comparable performance between these computers and uh, what you can see here is what is the request is actually to widen the PCIe buses to go to generation 4 if possible or at least to officially support generation 3 so that I can be sure that I can uh, uh, insert any kind of uh, device with generation 3 and it's going to work right now only generation 2 is guaranteed and uh, of course to preserve this kind of connector because this connector allows you to connect a lot more hardware not just being limited to the single board computer well, uh, what is important here is actually to keep the CARN hats uh, operational and to enable using new hats with a wider PCIe bus uh, this is it. And then we have RAM that has recently up been upgraded by just using uh, the method of replacing the original C1 system on chip by D1 system on chip, which supports a large RAM up to 16 gigabytes. Yes. So then we have RP1 microcontroller, which is not only supports GPIO ports and uh, fan operation, but it also supports two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, Ethernet port, so this Ethernet controller and 5.5 ports where so serial connection to this controller. So it's a power management controller uh, and right now it's um, capable of providing uh, about 25 watts of power. This is the first option. We suppose here that RP1 controller remains as it is because it's cheaper not to develop at the same time RP1 controller and system on chip. Now let's have eight ARM Cortex A78 cores. There was a lot of talking about A78 cores. There could also be A720 cores, which maybe burn a little less energy. They're a little more efficient, but 
okay, running at 3 gigahertz, I wish to have a computer running at a little bit higher uh, clock rate. Uh, this means that actually right now we have officially supported 2.4 gigahertz. I have my extreme Raspberry Pi that's running at 3 gigahertz, but it has a normal cooler on it. So actually it gets cooled more or less passively, but there is a fan just in case it, it will start if it was overheating, so it works very well. Then we did at least 10 times faster GPU. 8K graphics is a must in new Raspberry Pi 6, so I hope they, they go to this. Then what is important here is to inbuilt a neural processing unit. Crypto module could speed up the encryption and decryption when you are accessing uh, secure websites. RAM options uh, should be from 8 to 32 gigabytes because it's a new design. So right now we have the maximum of 16 gigabytes. The chips are getting smaller. So let's say this RAM module should be also more capable. Then we have this DA uh, 1992 controller. The current could still remain uh, less than 5 ampere here on USB-C connector, but it could provide twice or even 2.4 uh, times more power at 12 volts. This is an option to add a specialized, I'm not saying that it's going to be a horizontal orientation connector, but we get a specialized USB-C port. We would like to have a stereo audio output. We can also see that the competitive design preserved a stereo audio output and input. So we have usually one pin that it's uh, microphone input and two pins which are stereo audio output for analog device. USB 3.0 port, USB 4.0 port with uh, digital display port uh, capability so you can also attach a monitor that have another two HDMI ports that we already have right now. So. Uh, option two is actually replacing RP1 microcontroller with something new. I'm not saying with 2040 or with 2340, but with really something new. So this means that uh, you actually get uh, you preserve this PCIe bus uh, that must be fast enough. For example, four lane. Uh, you can also inbuild a PCIe switch because you can make a PCI connection to Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 7 module and also to this Ethernet module. So you can have a PCI which is much faster than what is now actually. So you could do this and you can have the third uh, connector from the bottom, so from the other side of the board that actually allows you to attach an SSD drives from the bottom, so you get a really fast uh, connection to the SSD drives. And then we have Ethernet controller. If we discuss Ethernet controller, I think that right now we have designs that have already inbuilt 2.5 gigabits per second adapters. Why not going to 5 gigabits per second? And then uh, this is uh, Wi-Fi 6 or 7. If they decide to simply remove RP1 microcontroller, then all the logic is going to be moved here into the system on chip. We won't lose the performance, but we won't gain so much performance as we could if this kind of chip would have been preserved. RP1 controller is sharing the load with uh, the Broxton 7. Uh, 2712 system on chip and it's actually making it capable of being much much faster. So the speed that uh, it can support uh, greatly depends on what's inside uh, the system on chip because there is not uh, an intermediate chip. Thank you for watching. If you've liked this video please press like and subscribe buttons and don't forget about the notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye!